Welcome back. So in our Selenium 4 series, we will be seeing one more interesting feature of Selenium 4 that is how we can handle the SSL security options. So like let's say that if you have a certification error, so how we can deal with the certificate errors. So let's say there is an application uh, and there we are getting some SSL certificate errors. So for an instance, let me go to this badssl.com and here if I go to this expired link you can see here it is saying your connection is not private and it is throwing kind of uh, throwing an SSL error actually so if I go to this Chrome Dev Tools here and I will go to the security you can see here this page is not secure because certificate is missing so it might be the certificate is not yet present for that particular application or even the certificate is expired actually so any one of this region and so because this SSL is not there it is saying that it is not good to enter inside this particular application but because this is just a demo uh, application so it is safe to go inside so what we normally do in the manual way we have to go to the advanced and then after this if you hear it is saying even though it is expired do you really want to proceed or not so I will say proceed to expired now once I will be getting inside that I will be getting the actual web page actually or whatever that content so it just gives you an error that there is some SSL problem do you really go inside that or not okay so there are few instances where we can encounter this kind of uh, what do you call situations so selenium 4 provides uh, an option to deal with this SSL certification errors so for this we have uh, this chrome dev tools and if you see for the security domain we have these two things one is we have to enable the security like we used to enable our network right while we were dealing with 2g 3g and all those uh, scenarios while we were testing we used to do uh, network dot enable the same thing we need to do security dot enable and there is a experimental option or method is available that is uh, security dot set ignore certificate errors okay so this is one which we will be seeing actually how we can handle it okay so first we will be loading this expired.bedsl.com and then we will be ignoring that certificate so that we can get inside this application okay so that is what we will be implementing in selenium with java so let's get started so i am on intellij and in our existing script repo i will be creating a new java class and let me give this as ignore certificate okay certificate error maybe some name and let me add this one to my git repository and here what i will do i will be creating a test ng test okay and then i will say public void and then I will write something test underscore ignore SSL error some name I'm giving and then here I need to deal with the Chrome driver at this moment so for that let me use the web driver manager so that it can handle the Chrome driver download and Chrome driver dot setup and this one we know already and then after this I will be launching my Chrome browser new sorry new chrome driver okay fine okay now here what i will be doing i will be getting the dev tools object right so dev tools equal to i will have to change i will have to cast this one because here if i go here let me give this web driver driver like if you are making chrome driver driver then you need not to cached that now let me import this one and then I will be creating an object of the dev tools as well so dev tools fine okay now let me import this one as well now here dev tools and here let me just uh, cast this one so driver and under this I will be giving another call another bracket and here I will be mentioning this chrome driver okay so here dot get dev tools okay 
so devtools object is created now here what i need to do i need to first launch that particular application okay so for this for time being let me do one thing let me copy paste this one okay and then after this now let's wait for some time so here basically it will not get me in because of that certificate error after this we will implement the concept of the selenium 4 feature where we can ignore the certification error okay so for that what i will do here so first thing is that i need to enable the security right so for this what i can do devtools dot send command so here so here I will make it as a security and this should be coming from this dev tools actually you can see org.openqa selenium dev tools security and then if I put dot I will see the enable so all those options which we have discussed here right so this experimental options should appear in the the security one now let me so after enabling i need to do the actual ignore synchronization ignore ssl actually so security dot set ignore certificate errors you can see the first option and if i do this one it asks me for a boolean function so do i really need to ignore the certificate yes so i will be putting a true here okay that's it then what i need to do then i need to again launch the url right so first this url will be launched and it will not get me in so i will wait for two seconds then i will ignore that one and i will launch it so that this time it will be loading for me so driver dot get and i will be loading the same thing let's wait for some time again so that we can see the red screen and then i will be waiting for some time and then driver dot quit okay let's give some more time here fine that's it actually so any kind of uh, any of your application that for a temporary let's say that your ssl is expired or it is missing then at that moment you can use these two lines of code to handle those situations and you can get into the application and you can automate whatever you want there okay so let me run this one first okay so here you can see for the first time it is not connecting me in but after this it set that uh, ignore certificate and then it went inside the application okay so that is the way you can set the ig uh, ignore certificate errors so this was a quick video of explaining one of the security feature of selenium 4 so hope this helps and uh, stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't Thank you for watching.